Good Sunday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onig. A quiet end to the holiday weekend with no problems being seen across the area when it comes to travel. A little bit on the chilly side out there for this morning. We're not seeing anything in the way of hugely warm temperatures for today because of the fact that we had that cold front roll through the area yesterday. So as of right now, going to be a bit on the brisk side as you head out to church, Sunday school, or wherever you may be going in the Mid-South area. But so far, again, things are looking pretty decently quiet and will remain so again throughout the rest of the day. So if you have any plans for outdoors, go ahead and keep them. We'll talk more about what's going on with the rest of the forecast coming up here in just a little bit, which includes some pretty dry conditions out there as we go into the rest of the week. Again, not great chances of rainfall in our forecast, but we may see again some activity in the near future. We'll talk again about that coming up in just a little bit. Got questions about the forecast? Please drop them into the comments section. We'd love to be able to hear what it looks like in your area and what's going on when it comes to weather across much of the Mid-South. And if you're outside of the Mid-South right now, definitely want to keep up to date with what's going on there. So please keep us updated with what's happening in your location. Drop your weather reports into the comments section below, and I'll be love to be able to show everybody else what's going on out there. Likewise, if you have pictures of weather in and around the area, we'd love to know more about what it looks like where you are. So please send them along to me. We'll give you the addresses on that coming up in just a little bit. Welcoming everybody on on Periscope and Twitter first off, and then also on my Facebook page going from my iPhone over there and from the computer down here for Periscope and Twitter. We've got a lot to talk about this morning. So let's go ahead and give you the nutshell forecast to give you an idea as to what we're going to be looking for for the course of the rest of the day. Again, temperatures throughout the day are going to be on the cool side, thanks in part to all that very cool dry air that rolled in with that cold front yesterday. So much of what we're going to be seeing right now will be mainly dry, upper 40s by late this morning. Heading into this afternoon, again, temperatures will be back into around the mid to upper 50s and then lower 60s briefly as we get into the early afternoon. That'll be our peak heating time of the day but we're not going to be seeing too much out there when it comes to any major amounts of problems. So definitely good news on that for travelers out there. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and see what's going on out across the Mid-South with this morning. Plenty of sunshine, lower 40s around Germantown. City Hall Cam showing a few clouds, a few jet contrails drifting on through. But beyond that, we don't really have much of anything going on. Chilly on the Oxford campus of University of Mississippi. Plenty of early morning sunshine. Not too many people out enjoying that sunshine on the campus right now. Probably going to be a little bit more active into later on this evening as people get back from the Thanksgiving holiday. Also, if you are in the Oxford area tonight, it's going to be relatively clear and just over, I believe, that side of the campus. If I'm looking in the right direction, the Kennan Observatory will be holding a, an astronomical open house tonight, starting at 5 o'clock if it stays clear, and it should. So if you'd like to know more about that, head to my Facebook page, and we'll have more details on that throughout the rest of the day. So great viewing conditions. If you'd like to get your kids interested in astronomy, Ole Miss is going to be the place to be for later on tonight. Windy Country Club, grounds crew out and about, and golfers starting to show up out there, even though it is a little bit on the frosty side. Now, mainly today, we're going to be taking a look at what's going on with travel conditions around the area. It's a big day, a lot of people in motion, a lot of frustrations going on out there, sadly, as we start to see some backups and problems mount due to mechanical issues. Weather doesn't look to be much of a problem, but we'll keep our eyes on that throughout the rest of the day. Currently, I-40 in Witten Road, Lots of sunshine from our transmitter tower camera. Usually a pretty busy intersection at this time of the day, but not looking like that right now. So early this morning, that's looking pretty good. But as more people get up and about for church, Sunday school, shopping, wherever you may be going later on today, that again will increase for later on. I-40 between West Memphis to Arkansas and downtown Memphis, Tennessee. No problems being seen here. Visibility is good across the Hernando de Soto Bridge. And also showing again, a little if anything, the way of fog or anything in the way of moisture out there. Likewise, from West Memphis, Arkansas, the 4055 junction, traffic has really started to ramp up in the last hour or so. So we're seeing more people out and about and going various places, wherever they may be going towards or coming from. Again, very dry conditions in West Memphis. Still on the chilly side this morning, we've got numbers back in the upper 30s, but that's much improved from where it was a little while while ago where they were, you were below freezing in West Memphis not too long ago. Winds picking up out of the west at about three miles an hour, so there was some frost out there, but improving for right now. Much of what you're seeing on Storm Tracker 3S, especially this area right in here, this is not rain. This is flocks of birds. It's migration season, so a lot of the area up and around 
portions of the Boot Heel of Missouri, northeast Arkansas, even southern Illinois. A lot of farms up there with flooded fields. Great landing spots, great places for waterfowl and migrating birds. And that right there is exactly what we're seeing when it comes to anything involving echoes out there. That is just a great big mass of birds making its way on down the natural highway of the Mississippi. So we are seeing some activity on Storm Tracker 3S. It's just a lot of it is just of the nature variety, not seeing anything in the way of moisture out there because it is just too dry out there. Where are the trouble spots for today? Looking back to around the area around Florida, we do have a few scattered showers taking place here, and that could be a problem. Anything between Tampa, Miami, Orlando, if you're traveling into that particular location. A little farther up the East Coast, we do have a little bit more in the way of rain and snow showers. That is our last cold front and storm system that rolled on through that counterclockwise rotation showing the storm system going through there. So we do have some rain showers and snow showers around Boston, back toward Bangor, Burlington, and the rest of Maine showing a little bit more activity for this morning. But otherwise, most of the eastern third of the United States is pretty quiet. Not quite the case as we look off the west coast. Large storm systems swirling around the Gulf of Alaska, sending in some waves of energy. And this is kind of interesting right here. Got what's called an atmospheric river bringing in moisture from way on down toward Hawaii, all the way up into around portions of California, Oregon, and Washington State, and that is going to be causing possibility of some slowdowns. We're already getting some slowdown reports from out in this area. So from anything from, say, San Francisco to SeaTac, if you're going to be traveling to this area later on today, this is where you're probably going to be experiencing some headaches from slowdowns out there. We may see low ceilings. We may see a lot of rain. may see a lot of delays due to weather out this direction. But so far, for the rest of the continental United States, we do not have anything going on in the way of major problems, least of all for the Mid-South. So definitely good news out there. What does it look like at the airports? Memphis International is showing little, if any, delays right now. Delays of 15 minutes or less. That's the green icon with clear skies and calm winds at Memphis International. We are starting to see some show-ups of delays taking place. Again, the key up here, looking at delays at San Francisco, again, right in the area of that moisture moving on shore, and could be, again, some foggy and rainy conditions there. Newark, most of this more than likely is uh, human delays at this time, and according to the FAA at this time on their website, we are seeing, again, uh, the occasional slowdown at this time, but uh, according to the FAA, Weather and wind is causing some problems with the slowdowns here. If you'd like to get more information like this, we'll be updating this throughout the rest of the day. This is the website you can go to, fly.faa.gov. We'll post this on our News Channel 3 weather page so you can get updated as to what's going on out there. Great website to check in to see how things are going at the airport. Again, check in with your airline to make certain you've got an idea as to what's happening out there. And sadly, again, there's probably going to be more delays going on in the course of the next several hours as a lot of people get into motion throughout the rest of the daylight hours. So a little bit of extra patience, a lot of extra humanity would be a very good idea. So let's let's all be careful and let's try to be as kind as possible out there for the rest of the day. Chilly out there, but temperatures are increasing mid to upper 30s to lower 40s. Winds are fortunately fairly calm. So on WeatherNet 3, we don't have much of a wind chill to worry about. You can access this information at WREG.com if you'd like to take a look and see what's going on at the WeatherNet site nearest your location. Let's run the numbers and show you what's going on rest of the day today, again, notice the winds showing this clockwise pattern right here that's high pressure pushing down toward the surface, doing those big blue H's that we usually show on the weather maps, doing exactly what their name implies, pushing down toward the surface, making things very stable. So as of right now, there's not that much going on, and doubtful there will be throughout the rest of the day. Early this afternoon, back in the lower 60s, that's going to be a little cooler than yesterday, but this is still going to be just a bit above normal for this time of the year. So from Clarksdale all the way up to Dyersburg and from Forest City to Jackson, Tennessee, it looks like things are going to be very quiet out there and very dry with plenty of sunshine. Sunset tonight, temperatures dropping into the lower 50s. By mid-evening, dinner time tonight, a lot of people still in motion, traveling, getting back to where they maybe have coming from, mid to upper 40s to lower 50s. Same thing around News Channel 3 at 10, back in the upper 40s to lower 50s for much of the area. Daybreak tomorrow morning. Todd Demers on the air with your forecast. Winds start to turn out of the south, and that is going to give us some much warmer conditions into the next few days. So a brief downturn in the temperatures as we go throughout the rest of the day today. Lower 60s, sunny, dry, no major problems being seen out there for right now. A little warmer into tomorrow, mid-60s, and then mid to upper 60s as we head into Tuesday. 
Nice weather continues again. Very nice as we round out November and head into December. As we do so, Wednesday into Thursday, possibility of showers and late in the afternoon and evening will be the best time for this. Mainly showers, isolated possibility of a thunderstorm out there. We can't rule it out. And some of that will last into early on Thursday. So again, not that much going on for now. Dropping the temperatures by just a little bit as we head into Friday and Saturday. After that, this is where things kind of get interesting. This is a 10-day forecast, so we can only go out so far with this information. As we go a little bit farther beyond this, the medium range forecast models of about, say, 14 days plus, a little bit farther after this, are showing a large chunk of cold air coming down from Canada. So somewhere beyond next Tuesday, next next Tuesday, I should say, this is the area where we could see the potential for maybe some much colder weather heading on through. So this is something we're going to have to watch. A little cooler for Friday and Saturday. Not by much, but you know, a little bit anyway. So a little bit of a cool down here. And then lower to mid-60s next Sunday and Monday. Cooling off with our next chance of rainfall coming up as we go into Tuesday. So not, again, too much to worry about as we head through the next few days. But Wednesday and Thursday, we'll be keeping our eyes on that. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 as these numbers continue to fluctuate. We'll keep you updated as we go throughout the next several days. Thanking James R. Gulledge for a very nice combination collection of autumn pictures, including a nice sunrise, I believe so, and some of the trees out there. Now's the time to get your pictures taken because winds and rain and everything else are going to start to strip the trees, and we're going to be heading into those bare branches of wintertime pretty soon. So something to think about if you're going to be doing any photography outdoors. If you are, we would like to see them. Please send them along to us at aonic underscore wreg3, austinonic wreg on Facebook, and also on Instagram at aonic no underscore necessary wreg3. And we'll keep you updated on those. And again, please send them in. We'd love to feature them on social media like this netcast right here. Or if you're going to be doing anything throughout the rest of the day or week traveling around, send us your pictures wherever we are. We'd love to have them along. But we can't show them if you don't send them. And if you're not sending them, then I can't show anything. And all I have is this rather boring graphic to show you. So please help us out if you can do so on that. We'll be having more of your forecast available if you can't watch on TV or watch uh, on the computer during the day, dial us up on the radio, East Arkansas Broadcast Network, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And I'll be back on the air with Bob and Josh bright and early tomorrow morning on Talkback Live starting at 8 a.m. on AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio in Memphis. If you can't listen on air because you're out of range, Listen online, talkbacklivenetwork.org, and my forecast from the News Channel 3 Weather Center will be there and keep getting your day started there. That'll do it for this latest edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Again, busy day for travels. We'll keep updated on what's going on throughout the rest of the what's left of the weekend, so definitely want to stay tuned for more on that. Questions, concerns, anything you want to see on here, please let me know, austin.onic at wreg.com. We would love to have you along to keep watching for what's happening with weather in the Mid-South. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. We'll be back on the air again tonight at about 5 o'clock and at 10, so stay tuned for more there, and stay tuned for more with News Channel 3 on air and online throughout the rest of the weekend.